So we're playing a battle report, 2000 points. Demons versus Blood Angels. Here's my demon list. It's two soul grinders, both with a flam upgrade. This here is my um, demon at Seekers, 10, with one of the transfixing gaze. The Mask of Slanesh. Three units of ten demonets each, all with the transfixing gaze upgrade. Two units of five flamers of Singe. Great demon of, of Slanesh. Um, forgot about the upgrades. Five fiends of Slanesh with uh, unholy strength on the, the big guy over there. And last but not least, my Demon Prince of Slanesh with the upgrades of Transfixing Gaze as well as the Breath of Chaos. So this is the army my opponent is playing, it's Blood Angels. If we start from the left here, we have a, a Razorback having the 6 Stern Guard in it, a Vindicator, an Attack Bike, a Land Raider with a whole lot of Death Guard, Death Company. Here we have the Land Speeder with what is it? Typhoon. Typhoon missile launcher. And here we have a regular squad of assault marines. Three, six of them. Here we have another squad of six assault marines. Mephiston. Um, here the Honor Guard and what was this guy's name? Astrath the Grim. And Astrath the Grim. So we'll see what they do later more on turn one. So here's deployment. Of course the demon players and no deployment for me yet. Or we have the objectives. Here we have the chaos tree is my objective. And over there the wrecked um, rhino is his objective. Later more. we got here I have deep strike with second wave sadly enough my demon prince quite enough, uh, close enough to wreck some havoc here we have the a squad of demonettes just claim for to claim the objective the soul grinder ready to blast away there here we have the seekers they scatter 12 inches back so that's quite a distance there we have the other squad of demonettes and another, uh, my last squad of demonettes had a mishap, so he placed them over here. Let's play my turn. So what happened in the end of demon turn one? Here, I used Pervain on them to get them a bit closer. And then used my Breath of Chaos, although it only killed one guy, I think. Yeah. And over here, the Soul Grinder put a pipe template on the unit over here. And shot his harvester cannon on it, killing three marines. And that's about it. So after Blood Angels turn two, here he assaulted me, lost three of his guys, and then I used hit and run to get out of the combat. For the, the all the these the well the the tank of course was disabled for a turn, and there was shot at him, causing one wound. Over here, Mephiston wrecked my soul grinder. He's still standing there just to be annoying as terrain. His land raider, as well as the land speeder, both shot at the seekers, causing five kills. And over here, a group of assault marines first shot and then slaughtered my ten demonettes. So now we start demon turn two. So what happened here, we killed the uh, the marines, I have no, no clue what the name was, with the demonettes. The demon prince of Slanesh hiding here in the terrain. Again, she stunned the, the tank as well as killed the bi attack bike. They were prevented close in a circle and then shot with the soul grinder, but it failed. Sad. So, she's the Mask of Slanesh came in but scattered heavily, sad to say, right next to Mephiston. She did the, she did the correct Pervain but it failed. Um, 
and she also prevented these guys out of terrain so I could assault them without uh, losing my initiative bonus. And the demon, the, no, the greater demon of Slanesh also mishapped. He placed them again in this corner and they're all running to, make, to just be a part of the action. That's about it. On to Blood Angels turn 3. So the end of, of Blood Angels turn 3. Here, Astrath the Grim came in with his squad and killed the Demon Prince. Uh, the Land Raider itself made a mess of my Demonettes, leaving only four of them alive. Here, the Mask of Slanesh was taken down, but not before she gave back two wounds to him, so he shouldn't be short work now and over here due to some rule technicalities one of my dudes still lives surrounded by six blood angels made up of two squads and here's the cavalry so now we start demon turn three so my flamer swooped in over here burned away almost the entire unit except for this one guy I charged him with four demonettes, no luck, he still stands. Over here, the soul grinder first shot at his razorback, doing not very much, but he destroyed it in combat because it was just a sitting duck over there. These flamers immobilized the vehicle and stunned it, so no, sh no shooting either this turn. Here, this land raider still a pain in the ass. This guy still stands due to a mishap in calculation. We'll see next what he does. Over here, the demonettes came in to help, made too few kills, so there's still one giant combat. I hope they end up a bit better. <laughs> Double six. And Slopo here decided to run one single inch. More up next. At the start of Blood Angels turn 4, I guess. So here the demonettes finally killed the guy and pulled back into the terrain a bit. Here one flamer is left of the five after a shooting barrage of all the land raiders cannons as well as the Vindicator over there. These guys still stand. If we move over here the battle is going quite well. One of my guys died and one of his. So that's quite good. On to demon turn 4. End of demon turn 4. So he's still there immobilized. Over here, dirty tactics. My flamers and the soul grinder first flamed it, but it, that didn't work. But they closed in so all the entryways were blocked with an assault. Wreck the tank, that means that the crew inside can get out with an emergency exit but they cannot do anything the next following turn and with flamers all around them that would mean possibly mean their deaths. And over here I assaulted in with the greater demon, wiped out the entire squad of blood angels left and if we took the trouble of running them, they would move on to up onto the objective with only that tank left. So all in all, my opponent conceded because these chances are just no. Uh, successful turn for the demons, dirty tactics for the win.